The Centers for Disease Control this past week quadrupled its estimated H1N1 flu virus death toll to roughly 3,900 between April and mid-October. For more on the outbreak, we are joined by Dr. Anthony Fauci, the director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Dr. Fauci, good evening to you. Good evening. Despite those numbers we just gave, this past week in this country, the reported number of cases of H1N1 were down. Should we be encouraged by that? Uh, I think it's really premature to get any encouragement for that. There was a little blip down in the, in the pattern of the, of the number of cases. But since flu is, is eminently unpredictable, I think it's really dangerous to make any assumptions as what's going to happen over the next few weeks or months. It could have peaked and then might come down. That would be wonderful if that happens. Or it could peak and then taper off like this, which means there'd be many more cases of influenza. Or it could peak, come down, and then in the middle of the winter, we could have a second wave. So I think we ought to refrain from making any kind of conclusions about the patterns based on a single week's tally. Doctor, when it comes to being vaccinated, let's go through these priority groups again. Who should be first in line to get vaccinated? Well, it's the people who are most high risk for complications, and those are young children, pregnant women, and those who have underlying conditions. We also want to vaccinate the people who are caretakers of individuals who are less than six months old, as well as health care workers. But the people who are vulnerable are those major three groups, pregnant women, young children, and those with underlying conditions. Is there a faster way to vaccinate, to I'm sorry, manufacture the vaccine? There's still a shortage out there. No, unfortunately not. The only technology that's available for a widespread development and production of vaccine is by growing it in eggs, which is a time-honored for decades technology, but rather fragile. And in this case, unfortunately for all of us throughout the world, the virus doesn't grow very well in eggs and doesn't grow very quickly in eggs. So we're behind on the projected number of doses that we would have liked to have had now. So there's still a gap between supply and demand, which is thankfully closing as the weeks go by. But there still is a gap there. That's an unfortunate, frustrating uh, aspect of what's going on right mm. now. Dr. Anthony Fauci, as always, thank you very much. Good to be here.